Hey everyone, if you're having a hard time getting used to aiming in Combat Master or if you just can't seem to get better no matter how much time you put in, the real question is if you are really doing it the right way. Let me explain what I mean by that and before I do, make sure to like and subscribe because I will definitely upload more guides and tips and tricks on how to become better and improve even more at the game. For those of you who don't know, I had at least 2 years of experience in the second highest rank in Valorant. And I'm also a former number one in the world in Combat Master, being part of the best team in the game, Team EXT or Extremity, and I have been asked a lot to make guides, so here we are. This is my first 4k subscriber special and here you will learn how to aim at any level, any device, so watch from the beginning to support the effort I put in. Why is it so difficult to aim properly? Well, nobody is born good or talented, it's all matter of practice and consistency, so basically, if you, for an example, just started playing first person shooters or well FPS games and you're at let's say a beginner level what you want to focus on the most would be cross replacement and tracking or well just the control overall. Before we jump to cross replacement and tracking it's important to find a good sensitivity. Now how do you do that? Common Master is a fast paced shooter which means targets usually move way faster compared to other games like Counter Strike or Valorant so it's really important to at least have a higher sense but not something insanely high that's really hard to control. Lower sensitivity is usually easier to control but hard to track or flick at fast moving targets so if you can test out different sensitivities and try getting used to fast ones like I had to when switching from slow sense in Valorant to high sense in CM it will definitely help a lot more. Also while we are in settings FOV or field of view defines how far to the sides and top and bottom of course you can see the surrounding world so basically how far is your camera zoomed in or zoomed out. I personally like having my FOV maxed which allows me to see more but targets are often visually smaller and harder to detect compared to lower FOVs so it's totally up to your own preference. Now what's cross replacement and how do you get better at it? Those lines that form a plus or a dot at the middle of the screen is what we call a crosser. Proper cross replacement would be basically keeping its center at usually in other FPS games head level. Aiming at head level in Combat Master is not the same as aiming at head level in Valorant or Counter-Strike for an example so it's important to at least try placing your crosser on the opponent either chest level or head level. The best way to practice crosser placement is by running a custom lobby with bots on the lowest level so they don't kill you that easy which will allow you to join a match and do exactly what I'm doing on the screen right now. Make sure not to shoot those bots because that's currently not the point. Yes I did did feel the urge to do it. <laughs> Training this will help you improve both cross replacement and also tracking. Tracking is pretty much being able to stay on target no matter how it moves. So if you understand the basic movement in Combat Master, you will understand how slow or fast your tracking has to be. Once you master the basic level of tracking and cross replacement, I want you to start running around the map, jumping, sliding, whatever you want, because the main goal will be mastering tracking and cross replacement combined with movement because this game is all about movement and we don't want to make ourselves an easy target while trying to take one. This is not a thing you master in a day, it takes practice and a bunch of time so please don't force yourself too much. You won't lose time or anything so trust me when I tell you this game is way easier to learn. You probably don't think the same way but it's important to have a positive mindset about it in order to make it work. After you finally manage to control yourself properly you can now start shooting them if they really annoyed you but the best way to keep improving is to make these bots higher level or if you're confident enough go into real deathmatch game and make sure to do the same there and even if they kill you or win against you it doesn't matter you're trying to practice and not win here you lose nothing and you get nothing by winning a deathmatch game so use it wisely if you really don't want to ruin your reputation or something <laughs> just change the name or do this secretly if you don't want to make 
make yourself look bad. Real games are harder to track and control because people have unpredictable movement and it's important to try your best staying at the target no matter how they move. If you learned the basics and mastered both tracking and crosshair placement, you did at least 70% of the work. All it takes is to shoot at the right time and if you're not a sniper player, control your recoil. Now, controlling recoil is not something you learn that fast and get used to really easy. You can jump into shooting range, built inside the game, and you see this huge board or panel or however people call it. Yes, the best way to practice your recoil control would be on it. I will use a default M4 build for an example just to show how um, recoil control works. Try aiming at the center or just hold the button designated for shooting so you can waste the whole mag on it. You will see how your bullets go literally in the sky and we don't want to shoot birds instead of people in the game so here's how to work on it. When you start shooting it's important to slowly start moving your aim down. Now let me explain. Spraying makes these bullets go up. If we forcefully start moving our aim downwards bullets will stay at the center on the main target. It's important to practice this as much as you can. You can also do it in real deathmatch lobbies or with the bots again because understanding the weapons recoil is what makes it easier for you to control it properly. It's important to keep in mind the difference between zooming in or while ADSing and hip firing. I will probably dedicate a special video for sniper players, but here's a little secret most of the people don't know about, and they can't seem to understand how do I shoot no scopes accurately with a build that literally has zero accuracy. So the little secret behind this is pressing your zoom in button and your fire button almost at the same time. So you want to hit zoom in, which is right click on the mouse, and barely a second after press your fire button, which is left click on the mouse. You will be able to do a little zoom in before firing your shot which will make it more accurate like a little quick scope if you accidentally get the full quick scope you're not doing it right so try that out zooming in allows you to have better vision and to land more accurate shots if targets are a little far from you so pretty much better for long range and hip fire is what people mostly use in close range fights mostly with smgs so their fov stays bigger which makes it easier for them to move around and outplay the opponent in the aiming battle. I'm not saying using ADS in a close range fight is bad, but if you can't land your shots well, also depending on the gun build, it will be hard for you to win that battle because they have an advantage, they can see you easier because ADS pretty much blocks you from using slide or moving faster unless you're using the hunter perk. We talked about recoil control and how spraying works, so it's important to learn how to spray transfer. If you're shooting at one target and you're holding your fire or well wasting your mag on it, it's important to not waste it fully because there could be somebody else waiting for you to third party or they're just standing next to that specific target or it's just, you know, two teammates. So the biggest mistake you could do is stop and reload and the second best thing you could do is after killing the first target, stop shooting, take your time and then transfer to the second target. But I wouldn't recommend that either, they will punish you instead. The best case scenario is to get the first target and while still holding holding your fire button, quickly move to the second target and continue spraying and controlling your recoil so you can successfully win a 2v1 battle and make fun of them. I'm just kidding, don't make fun of people, we were all the beginners at some point. Moving on to one of the hardest things to master in aiming and that would be flicking. Flicking is not something you really need to use in order to kill the targets, it just does a really good part in quickly getting them without any risk of losing the battle. And it looks cool. Now, flicking can be done with other weapons as well, not just a sniper, so the quicker you are on the target, the faster you'll get them, which gives you a lot of advantage in the battle, time-wise. Imagine if somebody was shooting at me and I don't have enough time to react, so I'm forced to either die or try somehow getting him first, but that's kinda impossible if we slowly move to the target, so it's more efficient to just flick to it and take your chances anyways. But keep in mind, that goes for snipers only. On other weapons, I use flicking mainly for transferring from one target to another and we talked about spray transferring in the previous chapter so flicking to spray transfer is more efficient than slowly moving to the target but it's also a bigger risk so keep that in mind flicking is not an important mechanic to learn there are ways to improve it and you usually master it with the time and consistency you put into the game and the last one will be reaction time pretty similar to flicking in some ways reaction time is the amount of time that elapses between any 
event and your response. So if somebody jumped out of this window, my reaction time will help me spot them quicker and shoot at them before they start shooting at me. Oh, this is also not something you just start practicing by doing a bunch of trainings. Sure, you can go on Google and play the reaction time testers over and over again, but it's way more boring and just developing it in the game itself by just normally playing and practicing other stuff is much better. I honestly can't recommend any routines in this game since I don't use any, I just join the deathmatch game and I just play that match no matter how bad or good I am. My suggestion would be using shooting range to work on basics and using mainly that match to master aiming perfectly. Movement and other stuff related to just getting better overall. We went through pretty much every stage of aiming and at the end of the day all it takes is a bunch of practice, grinding and mainly consistency with of course positive mindset and that's how everything in life works so don't give up. I believe in you and if you have any questions or you want me to cover some parts even more in the future videos please let me know in the comments it really does mean a lot or just join my discord through the description if you want to message me privately. Let's dominate season 2 together. Thank you so much for 4k subs, thank you so much for supporting me, this is just the beginning so let me know what do you think about this type of videos and I will see you in the next one. Peace!